This is Algebra Lesson 1.4, Simplifying Expressions. So, I've already started using some of these words in some earlier videos, but terms are the parts of an expression that are to be added or subtracted. So they're separated by pluses and minuses. Like terms are when those terms have the same variables, also raised to the same powers. And you can also have constants that are like terms. So if your number has no variable attached to it, that is a like term with another number with no variable attached to it. So generally when we simplify expressions, we combine all of the like terms to get the simplest possible. And then the number in front of the variable, we call that the coefficient. Um, if a variable has no written coefficient, there's always a coefficient, but we call that, I call that the invisible one. So if we just had an x plus 3, there is an invisible one here whenever there's no value there. So let's go down to our first example. Example A says, simplify each expression by combining like terms. So if I look at my first one, I have 12x and I have 30x. These are both like terms because they both have a single x as the variable. So because those are like, I can simplify this by combining the coefficients of those like terms. So I would do 12 plus 30, which is 42 and then my variable stays x. It's saying I have 12 x's and I add 30 x's to them. That's 42 x's altogether. Letter B says 6.8 y squared minus y squared. So if you look at this simply like subtracting the coefficients, you might be tempted to say 6.8 take away nothing is still 6.8 because we don't have a visible coefficient in front of that y squared. But think of it more like we have 6.8 y squared and we're gonna take away a y squared 1y squared, we now have 5.8y squared left. So we subtract our coefficient, 6.8 take away the invisible 1, gives me 5.8, but our variable, our y squared, stays the same. Letter C, we have 4n plus 11n squared. And you might be tempted to say maybe 15n to the third, but it doesn't work that way. These are not like terms. Having 4n and then having 11n squared might be the same as having four apples and 11 oranges. They don't go together. So actually, this is already in simplest terms. There's nothing else that we can do to make that more simplified. And the last one, we have a 16p and we have 84p. Not much different than our first question. We have like terms here and here, so we're going to combine the coefficients. If we have 16p's and we add 84p's, we now have 100p's. Letter B, we're going to combine the distributive property that we did on the page before with the simplifying that we're doing on this page. So we're going to first distribute, so that would be 2 times x plus 2 times 6. I'm still writing out all my work. To simplify 2x, that is 2x. To simplify 2 times 6, that is 12 and I'm gonna still copy down my 3x. Now I have some like terms. I have 2x here, and I have 3x here. Those are like terms. And the 12 is a constant. I have no other constant, so that's gonna stay by itself. But if you put our 2x and our 3x together, we get 5x, and 12 stays 12. Letter B, we're gonna distribute again, our six to both terms in the parentheses. And I'm going to write out all of my work. 6 times x is 6x, 6, 6 times 4 is 24. Now I'm going to look for some like terms, and I have like terms here and here. My constants are like. They both have no variables. So 6x is going to stay 6x, and then I need to combine a negative 24 and a 9. So this is kind of backwards from what we were doing earlier to simplify. Remember, minus 24 is the same as plus a negative 24. So when we combine our like terms, we're adding negative 24 to 9. Negative 24 to 9, that is a negative 15. So I can write plus negative 15, or I can just write minus 15. 
My last one does not have any distributing, but I still have multiple like terms. I have a negative 12x. I have a negative 5x. Remember, that's the same as plus negative 5x. And I have a positive invisible 1x. So if I combine all of my like terms there, I'm doing negative 12 and negative 5. That's negative 17. With positive 1, that would be negative 16. And then the 3a has no like terms, so that stays as its own separate piece. That is it for the notes on this page. Good luck on the exercises, and please let me know if you have any questions.